Liquidy Nerdkins. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdkin live reaction video is going to be for One Punch Man chapter 118. And yeah, we're getting the Cat Cadre versus Drive Knight up in this bitch. And it is going to be freaking fantastic Noi Murata. And um, just in case you guys are reading the webcomic, you guys should read the webcomic because holy shit, the most recent chapter was amazing. Anyway, I can't wait for Murata to get to the current arc of the webcomic. Holy fucking shit, I can't wait. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. And chapter 118 is uh, titled Drive Night. It's nice to take a break once in a while. Take it easy and, mar and march onward because I'm the strongest. Woo! Dude! That fight looks straight out of Batman. I'm sorry, that looks straight out of Batman. It might be worth playing with this one a little. Woo! Yeah, get him, Dry Knight! Smoke? No, it's poison gas! Woo! I can't uh, predict what he'll do next. There really isn't much to gain fighting a toy like that besides getting burned. I should probably retreat for now, Sizzle. Ouch! Acid? Yeah! You think Dry Knight's gonna let you get away? Oh, yeah. This is a specially made dissolving liquid. The thinner the body, the faster it dissolves. Just like a thin cellophane being absorbed by water. Oh, that's some sneaky ass shit going on. Hmm? Do you think the only thing I could do is dodge? <laughs> I love it soon as that motherfucker says the drive back just punches him in the face. Oh, this is great. Oh, God. Tactical transformation! Uh, tactical transformation! Knight! Oh no, I'm sorry! He didn't punch him in the face! He kicked him in the face! He kicked him in the face! I'm correcting myself, I'm sorry. So the anesthetic gas didn't work! Too bad, in that case, capture abandoned! Tactical transformation! Flying chariot! Bishop! Holy shit! This is so fucking cool! Oh god, I swear to god! For fucking JC staff, you better not be adapting any more of One Punch Man manga. Seriously, stop ruining the manga. Oh gosh, this is so amazing right now. Oh my freaking god, it, it, it disappeared. No, this is a life signature from inside the armor. Feel like retribution. Oh shit, that motherfucker got in the armor. Oh my god, feel like retribution. Oh, but that's sneaky kitties. That's sneaky key. So it plans to destroy it from the inside. There is no other choice. What? You still managed to revert to your original form. I let the perfect opportunity for victory slip away. That said, the same trick won't work on me again. Ooh, that key, man! That key, man! Ooh, God, I love it. I'm loving the claws. Dude, Rada, this art is just freaking fantastic. It's just going to be a goddamn shame if this part of the manga gets adapted by, um... A very bad studio that we will never get to see it like perfectly adapted. Oh god, it drives me nuts. Oh, the anatomical anatomy. Oh, sorry, morning's holy shit. The anatomical animation is what I meant. The anatomical animation that we got from JC staff was just fucking horrible. And it's just a goddamn shame. And, it, and it's not limited to One Punch Man. A lot of um, anime adaptations have just been really lacking in the anatomical department. It's just really goddamn sad because the mangakas really put a lot of their heart and soul into their drawings and you don't get to really, sometimes you don't like see it on, on the screen. And another example of that is Black Clover. I, I feel so bad. I feel so, I, I'm glad Tabata's writing is, is there, but that same energy Tabata puts in, um, in the art is not exactly on the screen. Sorry, I just... Ugh, bugs. It pisses me off so much. I've decided on the method of your execution. I have just, I have also just decided transformation tactical, uh, sorry, wording, holy shit. Tactical transformation gold. Yeah, I'm trying to think what this reminds me of. Like, I feel like I've seen, like, the, like, this Lego-like, um, transformation before. Like, an action figure form, but I just can't, like, really... Really? Th th like, I want to say this is kind of like Transformers! <laughs> this is kind of like Transformers! But, I I'm waiting to- oh god, a Michael Bay joke is probably gonna come at any point. <gasps> Whoa! Drive Day went Super Saiyan! Holy shit, Drive Day just went Super Saiyan! What is with everyone going Super Saiyan in manga lately? 
Holly, my god! I have decided on the method of your execution. I will enter your body through the openings of your mouth, eyes and mouth, then I will go on a rampage and tear your body apart. I wonder what your screams will sound like. Oh shit, come on, Super Saiyan Drive Knight! Feline retribution! Oh, it says on it says on the screen, um, on Drive Night screen, life form detected. Ooh, whoa, Rumble. No amount of extra lives will be enough if I don't get out of here ASAP. Get him, Drive Night. This is mine. Some folks will never learn. I'm over here. Dude, this art is just freaking amazing. Clang. <laughs> Whether it's your... Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is so trippy. Okay. This this part with the cadre here, like, inside of Drive Night, is just so fucking trippy, and I love it. Oh, God. Way to utilize your... Way to utilize your background, uh, Murata. Thank you. Thank you for utilizing the back... I love when mangakas do that. Because it really just brings more extra... It brings extra oomph um, up in here. Up, up in the manga. Whether it's your overpowered armor or your strength and speed, they are all utterly worthless under these circumstances. Now it's time to unleash feline retribution upon your body. Meow? Oh! Got you! A temporary increase in basic attributes is just a bonus. The true ability of my transformation gold is heat! Oh! This is just like in, um, uh, Jajolion! Oh my god, this is just this is making me think of Jajolion right now! Holy shit! Oh my god! I don't want to because one of the things, uh, one of the stands in Jajolion involves uh, is like heat activation kind of thing, and it it causes the the stand will cause the person to melt from the inside out. That's what it does. And God, this is just making me think of that. Oh my god! Hot, 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 hot! Silver man, yeah! No matter how good you are, you cannot escape being skewered. Bastard! You are just a toy. Oh, that's what you fucking think. Oh my god. Target elimination complete. Oh, he won. Drive night. Target elimination complete. The corpse level of Dragon Master Monster Neon has been obtained. Dude, could we talk about the the, the art for this corpse of, of uh, Neon? Oh my god. This corpse, the art for this corpse is freaking gorgeous. Holy shit. Way, way to go, Murata. Oh my goddamn god. But, um, holy shit, we haven't had a good chapter like this in a minute. I, I oh my god, manga this week has just been amazing. Especially if you are a Kingdom fan, go read this week's chapter of Kingdom if you haven't. Holy fucking shit, Kingdom was like, oh, it was like the perfect chapter. This chapter was just goddamn amazing. Oh my god, we had Super Saiyan Drive Night. We had uh, Transformers Drive Night. Yeah, it, it's uh, trans. We got a Transformer robot in disguise uh, kind of thing. Well, it feels like it's a knight in disguise kind of thing. I don't fucking even know. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like other references for this shit. But the first thing that came to mind is like fucking Transformers. This, this is so fucking nuts. We got we had Transformers references. We had Dragon Ball references. Oh my god, this fight was just life. And that motherfucker, Neon thought he had. Neon thought he had Drive Night. He thought he did. And that motherfucker's like, well, my Super Saiyan transformation has the power of heat, motherfucker. And I was like, yes! Oh god, it was so amazing. This has to be one of the best fights of this arc. Oh my god, and I thought the flashy flash fight of this arc was just goddamn amazing. Holy shit, this fight was like, oh my god, it was, oh, this fight was amazing. Oh my god, this fight was so good. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. Um, I'm very curious if, like, Drive Knight's transformations made you think of, like, anything else in particular. Like, I'm just thinking of it, it kind of, in a way, reminded me of Saint Seiya, just a little, that's what it was making me think of, of Saint Seiya, just a little bit, because of how, um, you know, the armor was put on, kind of like that, you know, the magical boy slash magical girl transformations, that's what it was kind of making me think of, and in a way, it was kind of making me think of, um, now that I'm thinking about it, it was kind of making me think of Digimon Frontier as well, <laughs> um, but I'm curious if anyone else uh, what you guys thought let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdigan's inc if you love what i'm doing and want to help 
uh, keep this channel alive so I could keep bringing you more One Punch Man content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase off um, something off my Amazon wish list. That's all in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.